Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. I forgot about one card and that's this uh, special card that I had designed uh, around 1981 I guess uh, which was uh, taking all of the LEDs from the address lines and um, breaking their connections on the PC boards and wiring them out to these connectors so all of the, all of the LEDs and the drive resistor, the load resistor for each of the LEDs is on the board, but then uh, the uh, uh, cathodes are brought out to this connector and they go to this board. So this board is a prototyping board called GP100. I'm not sure where I got it. Um, but it has some uh, address decoding and uh, data line and address line demultiplexing and latching here. Um, it looks as though I actually use part of that. I'm not sure what, but most of most of the, of the work is done up here. Uh, these are 74LS 245s. Um, they're all the same, so there's just there's just uh, four octal buffers. Um, so nothing nothing magic going on. It's just wiring from the address lines into the buffers, and then the buffers to the buffers to the LEDs. Uh, but this this card edge looks uh, looks a bit grimy, uh, so we'll go ahead and clean it the same way, and put that back in. The next card will be the uh, CPU card, which is a pretty simple card. Um, it has a, uh, it's like an AMD chip. Very strange. An AMD 8080, uh, but a ceramic chip. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, do the magic on the uh, card edges on this one and uh, get it reinstalled. And don't forget to put the uh, little ribbon cable here on this corner of the CPU card. Otherwise it won't work. That looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to power it up just to see how it's behaving. Alright, let's power it on. Well, that looks pretty good. I don't see the lights flashing. Let's do a reset. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Looks pretty good. This looks very good. So let me tell you what I'm doing here. Um, I'm executing a reset. All the lines go high. That's good. Um, I have it in stop condition. So the run light is off. The wait light is on. Um, when you set what address you would like, here I have 0000, and I hit examine, it's going to tell the microprocessor, it's going to force that jump instruction uh, to go to address 0000, and it's going to display what's on the uh, address bus, or on the data bus. So here, there's nothing on the bus, so it's giving us a zero. If we give it a examine next, it's uh, doing a no-op, forcing a no-op in the processor, which increments the program counter by one, and increments the address by one. So every time we hit examine next, it's going to a different memory address. So that looks very good. If we set an address, let's say we set 1000 and we say examine, that forced a jump instruction to location 1000 and that's what we see now on the data bus, I'm on the address bus. And we can look at the examine next from there. So this looks very, very good. 
Now we don't have any memory in in the uh, in the device now. So if we if we do an examine and we do a deposit, we're not going to be able to put zero there because there's no RAM. Uh, we could do a reset and a run, and that seems to work. I believe the FF instruction or the 333 in Octal. Um, I'll show you that later. The M side, I mean the um, 8080 processor was designed all around Octal and you can memorize a lot of the instructions by their octal equivalents. So I believe this is now running just FF um, instructions over and over and over again. So it's going through the entire uh, address bus. You can see it uh, count all the way up into the uh, address line 15. So it's just cycling very over and over again. It's doing a memory read. Uh, this is part of the cycles of instructions, the M1 cycle. I don't remember what that is. Uh, stack. Uh, we're not using a stack, so I'm not sure that why that's lit up, and um, we're not doing any uh, I/O. So this looks very good. It's much more stable. Everything is operating correctly. Nothing's going nuts. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, fix up one of those memory cards, plop that in here, and let's see if we can uh, get it to do something.